So back to our WordPress dashboard and we're gonna be learning how to create our pages for our website like home page, contact us page, about us page and so on using Gutenberg and the classic builder. So by default pages are built by the classic editor however recently Gutenberg was introduced to WordPress and it's basically a new page editor. If you scroll into your dashboard you're gonna be seeing Gutenberg in here. So after version 5 of WordPress release, Gutenberg will be default for page editor. However, if you're familiar with WordPress and the classic editor, you can keep using that one. Okay. And by the way, the classic one still has more advantages to the Gutenberg, as I think, and many others think the same. However, we're going to be learning about both of them. So you can be deciding which one you like the most and which one you're going to keep using. Anyway, until now, you can keep using both of them. However, after version 5, in order to use the classic editor, you need to be installing that plugin in here, classic editor plugin, to keep using the current editor until you're ready to make the switch and even they might be enhancing Gutenberg even better. So now let's see it in action to even understand them better. And just before we create our pages, let me show you one more thing. Here, if you scroll up there, you will be seeing screen options. And these are the options for your dashboard home. So you can be clicking that one in here. So you can be hiding welcome, which is that part in here or even quick draft or anything. So now let's build our pages. We have pages on left side. We can see all pages or add new. Now we're going to be seeing what's existing already by default. We have sample page by WordPress. So here you're going to be seeing also privacy policy. And you will be finding an article later through that course telling you how to create your own privacy policy page. So if you hover over any of these pages, you will see options in here. You can edit with classic editor or you can edit with UX builder quick edit or you can be deleting that page or view it to see how it looks like. So anyway, let's delete that one clicking trash. And let's create new pages by clicking add new. You'll see that drop down in here. You can be selecting either Gutenberg or classic editor. So let's start by the classic editor first to see how it looks like because most of you might be comfortable with that one. So this is a classic editor and how it looks like you can be entering your page title in here. So for example, home page. And here you can be adding your content, either type or images. You can be adding media or add form if you have a form to add or short code in here. And here are your type control just like Word. And here we have the status of our page. It's still draft. It's not published yet. And visibility, you can be changing that one instead of public by clicking edit in here. And you will see public password protected or private. And same as well for draft. You have options in here, bending review or draft or you can be publishing that page and you can control your publishing time by clicking edit. You can be publishing that one maybe a week later or whatever. Here you have your page attribute. You can be changing the template of your page. Let's make this one full width and you can be setting a featured image. Here you have some screen options as well, which is not existing in your Gutenberg. You can be adding discussion, slug, author. You can be adding more fields or removing some fields if you would like or you can be editing with UX builder which is our themes builder and that's basically how we're gonna be designing our website we're not gonna be using that editor to build our web pages or either Gutenberg however there are still some settings in here that we have to deal with in order to get our page live and start building that one with our page UX builder maybe we're gonna be using that classic editor or Gutenberg when we're building our blog pages more however we're not going to be dealing with them that much so anyway we're not going to be adding any content in here we're going to be clicking publish i just wanted to show you the difference between the classic one this is a classic one and we're going to be checking how gutenberg looks like now we have our page published and we have our page permalink in here we can be viewing our page if we would like from here or we can be adding a new one clicking that button now it's taking us by default to Gutenberg. So this is how Gutenberg looks like. So it's basically the same. We need to add our page title. We can create that one as maybe contact us. 
and the main difference in here is that it's gonna be building blocks for our page so here is our first block which is our page title now we can be adding a block by clicking that plus icon or clicking that plus in here you will find most used in here paragraph image heading so let's choose heading and typing now we can be controlling our heading h2 or 3 this is basically for seo purpose and you will find also an article about how to customize your headings and paragraph within your type and here you can be changing your block type you can switch to quote cover image paragraph or you can be going for more options to duplicate insert before a block or after or edit as html or you can be adding this one to another block now let's add another one and um, maybe paragraph and you can be clicking outside to deselect that block so here we have our three blocks we can be rearranging them by clicking move up so we have our type above our title or we can get it back as it was however on the right side we can find our settings we can be hiding that one by clicking that gear button or get it on back now we have the blocks settings which is including our paragraph we can be customizing the type from here we can be customizing our size make it medium or small or large or we can be customizing the size also from here similar to font size you have your color settings and advanced settings for custom css and we have our document setting as well which is including the regular settings like status visibility and we have featured image page attribute can be making that one as full width as well and if you would like to set a parent page like home page you can be doing that from here of course each theme has its own settings so you might find some different settings in here according to your theme or even if you're using extra plugins you might be seeing them as well now let's even go to more settings by clicking these three dots in here and we can be unifying our toolbar by clicking that one <clears throat> now if we select this one we have toolbar in here or we can switch to full screen mode we can change instead visual editor to code editor which is gonna be showing code editor so let's go back to our visual editor again and also there are keyboard shortcuts however they are not gonna be used that much since we're not gonna be using Gutenberg that much to build our web pages so let's add even more blocks in here adding a block now we have most used we can be collapsing that category to see inline elements including inline image common blocks which allowing you to add code or custom HTML or getting the classic editor again clicking that one you have your classic editor in here and let me get that one to be disabled and we have our editor classic settings in here so maybe you're using a plugin that has an extra button in here you can be accessing that one by applying the classic editor and maybe it will be generating a short code so you will find it in here and you can copy that short code and paste it into short code block and converting that one to blocks now let's add even another block here we have in widgets short code we can use that one to paste our code within our page maybe a contact form we can be pasting that one in here so let's add another block in here we have embeds so you can be adding all these embeds if you would like however guys i remind you we're not going to be using gutenberg or either the classic editor to build our pages however i want you to be more familiar with wordpress so let's go to most used and select maybe gallery and we can be uploading our images or clicking our media library if we have images uploaded to our website and they will be inserted in here the way we would like we can be arranging them and customizing their grid 
either to align right, center, or left. So that's basically Gutenberg. We're going to be removing these blocks. We don't need them in any way. However, I wanted to show you how they are working. So remove block and as well for this one. We're going to be building that within our page builder. So no need for these blocks. Even that title. And as you can see here, these were the last used blocks. So they are inserted in here for quick access. However, we're not going to be using any blocks. We're going to leave our page title and we're going to be adding a new page. Let's publish this one first. Here we have our link and we can copy or view page from here. However, as you can see, we don't have more options to see like discussion, slug and so on. So that's one of the downsides of Gutenberg. Now let's add a new page. We can be going to the plus icon in here. I'm showing you different ways to create new pages. So we're going to be clicking new, where is page, page, here you go. You can be adding new post, media, block, or whatever you would like from here. So we're going to be creating a new page. And we're going to call this one about us page. I'm publishing and we're done for that lesson. So hope that was easy one for you guys to see the difference between the classic editor and Gutenberg. And I'll be seeing you in next lesson.